Good morning. <clears throat> Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Theresa May, the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, His Excellency Antonio Guterres, the Secretary General of the United Nations, His Excellency Mosa Faki Mohammed, Chairman of the African Union Commission, Heads of States and Governments in attendance, representatives of nations and organizations. It's indeed a great honor to be addressing you all today at this special conference on Somali's future in this beautiful, beautiful city of London. I'm delighted to be sharing this historic day with our key partners, all of whom have stood by our people and nation in our greatest period of need. I would like to take this opportunity to especially thank our great host, Prime Minister Theresa May and her government for com commitment and bringing this conference to fruition. As many of you know, this is not the first conference for Somalia hosted by the UK. For that, we thank you, Prime Minister. Excellences, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as you are all aware, Somalia successfully concluded a long and complicated election process on the 8th February 2017. On that day, representatives of Somali people voted for change and a new direction for our country. I was humbled by the enormous public support I received following the election. I am, however, very aware of the high expectations the Somali people have for me, starting with improved security and provision of basic services such as health and education. Although we are working tirelessly to meet everyone's expectations, in, this mean, in the meantime, we hope to gradually improve our citizens' lives. Excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, my reform agenda started with selecting capable and proven leader as a prime minister. Prime Minister Hassan al Khaire brings a decade of experience as a senior executive in the humanitarian and development sector, and later as a successful businessman. Capitalizing on this experience and network, and following extensive consultation with all actors, the Prime Minister formed a technocratic cabinet that includes six female ministers, the largest in our history and many young ministers representing 85% of our population who are under the age of 40 years old. One of the new young ministers was, for, was, was former refugee camp in Dadaab, the world's largest refugee camp in Kenya. His compelling story gives insight into the transformation my country is going through. Unfortunately, his life was cut short last week, but his legacy remains with us. Excellencies, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to this security sector support we receive from our friends, we are grateful to all partners for their unwavering and sustained support over the years. Many provide financial support, while others provide technical and logistical support. One partner I would like to dedicate special gratitude is AMSOM. Their, peacekeeper, their, their peacekeepers have been working with us for 10 years, much longer anyone expected. During that time, they have sacrificed many soldiers in the quest to help Somalis defeat al-Shabaab and rebuild our security forces. Distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, the insecurity situation cannot be changed without addressing its root causes, which is abject poverty and mass unemployment. Too many of our young generation are sitting idle, creating fertile ground for terrorists to recruit from. We must tackle this issue with a robust economic recovery plan. To this end, we have identified the priority of the priorities within the National Development Plan. In conclusion, 
There have been many conferences in the past on Somalia and for Somalia. Today's events are different because I can assure and reassure you that Somalis will never turn back to its difficult past. It will only go forward toward progress and prosperity as is the will of its people and the priority of its government. In engaging with us on the vast area of issues for discussions ahead during this conference, please be confident of the sincerity of this promise. I thank you all. Thank you very much.